Hey guys, um, I'm Greg again. Um, this is my vlog number three, and also like uh, the practice for my actual senior capstone presentation on May 18th. Um, again, I'm Greg Perez. Um, I'm in period five, and my topic was music therapy. And what music therapy is, it's a way of um, using music to soothe or relieve some sort of stress that you may be going through, depression, anxiety, any sort of that. There's various types of music therapy. And um, I chose this project, this topic, because of, I realized how important music actually is. And it, I found it interesting that one of the best things about music therapy is that music that you can relate to is usually the best type of music therapy. Um, but anything can help, honestly. But it just depends on what your problems are. Um, the problem I was hoping to solve was that uh, I was hoping I was hoping to find a way to maybe figure out like if depression and music are kind of related in a way. Because what I, what I found that for me, some music caused it, and some music actually made me feel even better about it. But at the same time, it's like vice versa. Like. It doesn't really make sense at times. Um, the solution was that, as I said before, you listen to music that you can relate to, and that's usually, for me, that's usually like indie rock, punk, and slower type of rap. But I mean, everybody's different, it just also depends on what you're into. Um, I learned to hope that maybe music and depression and any other anxiety, I was hoping they aren't related, but I feel like they can be because I feel like listening to a certain type of music can trigger your anxiety or depression and that could possibly, I guess, keep it going when it probably shouldn't even be there anymore if it's been a long time. Um, the steps I took, I, I started doing a whole bunch of research uh, as, as I was doing my questions, reading articles about music therapy and the various types. There's a whole bunch, a lot of them just including different genres and different sounds. Um, there was there was one where um, they used it on uh, military vets and babies that have been traumatized. And it apparently worked. It, it was like, I think it was classical music from what I remember. Um, I did that. Um, I was going to um, make flyers and hand them out around school. But the problem with that was I didn't really have a working printer and I just, I didn't feel like it'd be right of me of making a whole bunch of flyers and it, it not working out, so I didn't do that. Um, I also, I started, um, the, the plan was to make phone, log, phone logs and call people, but I found, I started thinking about it in a way that I, I feel like music therapy is something that only you could really figure out. It, it, it is a thing, it is a real thing, but I feel like, like Whatever music you like and whatever you choose to do, that is your music therapy. So what I changed was that um, instead of doing the phone logs, I would interview a couple people, possibly record them or have them write things to me um, as we played uh, in like an instrument and had them, I don't know, just play a certain song that they could relate to, maybe a song that they like, and maybe that would help them or it just it'd be cool just to be able to use them trying to find something to relieve themselves as a way of learning an instrument which is the great part um so basically what i did was i interviewed trevor um gavin um and many but i lost um an, an obstacle that i encountered was my phone ended up breaking so i lost a whole bunch of videos that i could have posted as evidence on my site um, I was man I was able to man to um, to reget the Trevor videos and I had Gavin write me a uh, a, sm a small summary uh, instead of the videos because I had lost every single videos and then uh, I also posted a picture of us playing together on my Instagram so hopefully I can include that on my uh, actual presentation for my evidence. Um, all my evidence is going to be shown as videos, uh, any pictures I may have. Um, any more summaries I may get um, and hopefully anything else I could possibly get 
And what I hoped to accomplish was, as I said before, I wanted to see if maybe music therapy isn't just something that's scientific or any of that. Maybe it's just something that you can just do on your own. Um, I learned that, as I said before, music therapy, it doesn't have to be something that is done in like a lab or like a doctor's room. It's something that you can do on your own just by listening to stuff that you can relate to. Um, what I learned about myself was that before I started this, I used to listen to a lot of music that I think caused my depression and that was a, a really big deal to me. And that messed me up. And what I'm proud of is that I was able to teach a couple friends how to play ukulele. And I guess you could say I, sorry, um, going through this process, I learned that there is certain music you should listen to and there's certain music that you should not listen to when you're sad. Because I feel like the artist intentionally made the song in that way to make you sad. Uh, what, what I wish I would have done differently was obviously I procrastinated, but um, definitely taking better care of my phone so I would have kept most of the evidence. Um, and just overall, I feel like if I had, I guess more of a better way of getting myself out there, I feel like I could express my opinions more, maybe get more opinions, and I probably could have possibly created like a survey. Um, I might actually still do that. I still have time to do that, so we'll see about that. But um, overall, the, the difference that I made was to me, and hopefully to anybody who may look at this and look at my website and maybe my friends, uh, music therapy can is you. I feel like it's not it's not just something that can be done in a lab. It's something that you have to do yourself, but it's just you have to find your own music therapy. And I feel like it doesn't even have to be music. It could just be sitting outside and that, that could be your music therapy. Um, and other than that, it's just, I hope, I hope, hopefully I can. I haven't been able to get my ukulele yet. But once I can, hopefully I can uh, finish a song I've been writing and uh, present it as a, like a final thing, as something I've been writing on. But other than that, that's really it. In general, music therapy is you. But um, yeah, I'm Greg again. This is Vlog 3, and uh, skate fast, eat grass.